Welcome to Let's Play Solitaire. And thanks for watching. Today we're going to tackle a random game and uh, not going to edit it at all. I'm going to do my best to uh, try to explain what I'm thinking and uh, methodically figure out a way to solve it. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first. I like to go for any moves we can make with the columns. That's these cards right here. Uh, there's two moves I see. Now, the one caveat here is that they're low cards. We may want to consider taking those back at some point, but we're going to move them now and just see what we have. Uh, so there's that and that. And, oh, we can move this eight as well, right? Okay. We can move this three. That's kind of good. Now, what we'd like to do is open up one of these columns. This may be our shot to do that, and then we can have a spot for a king. Uh, not quite. We're going to go with this for now, and uh, we'll see what happens. This is the draw pile right here. We're going to click on that, and uh, we have an interesting uh, uh, spot we're in. If you'll notice, there is a three of spades below. There is a three of clubs right here. We typically like to save the early card uh, in the draw pile for insurance. So we may want to actually take this three of spades back and leave the option open for the three of clubs. We won't, we won't play it now, but we want to actually, you know, take it back. So we're going to take that three of spades back and we're just going to play like this right here. We're not. We're gonna save this three of clubs for the moving under the four of diamonds and for later for insurance. That's what my thinking is right now. We could, of course, go back to this if we open up another column and we wanted to move the king. So that's another option as well. But unfortunately, we would give up this three. This three is very valuable. The reason why is we could bring down this five of hearts, play it under the six, and then if we bring a black four, we could move the three under there to here. So. That's one line of thinking. Again, I don't know where the rest of these cards are, so it may or may not be the best line, but that's what I'm thinking right now. So I'm going to click through here and see what moves we have. Uh, this is going to be the first move we find. Uh, we're going to take it because it's further back. Uh, and notice there is another Black King right here, uh, which kind of makes it interesting. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go with this uh, 6 over here. Red nine's good because we really want to get this column going right here. We're going to move one of the cards out of that column there. And, uh, yeah, we have another three. This is actually good because this means that this two of clubs is less likely to tie us up. We could play it here or we could play it here. Uh, something to keep in mind. It may or may not be important in this game, but just something to keep in mind. Ace of diamonds, that's a card we'd like to get out. And I think if we only played one card, that should drop. I can't remember if I played one or two, though. So I'm going to find out uh, the hard way. Going to click through here. Again, this uh, three of clubs will act as our insurance card. We'll play this as a last resort. Uh, let's go through here. Nothing, nothing. There's an ace of hearts we'd also like to play. That would be really good because that would open up uh, this column right here. If we could put that up top. So something else to look out for, too. There's the ace of diamonds. We're going to play that. And uh, just kind of go through here. Oh, we can play this jack as well, I believe. And, oh, that 10. Actually, we're going to go back one. What I want to do is I want to play that 10. I want to play that 10 right there, okay? But if, if we play the ace and the jack, that doesn't work. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. We're just going to play the jack. We'll come back and play the ace next time. And this 10 should be the... Uh, card that's over here basically where this king is and that's what we want to do there so we're going to go back again and we can oh there's another 10 we could play as well so i guess or that was the 10 we can play another 10 as well so i guess it's not a, as bad but we wanted to have this 10 out here i'm going to do a different variation this time actually what we're going to do is we are going to play this 10 right here we're not going to play the ace of diamonds we're going to let this 9 and 8, well, we got this 9 and 8 over here too. I think I'm going to go with this one. And then we will play the Ace of Diamonds. So a lot of different thoughts here. Uh, just kind of trying to process what we have. Uh, we've got this 
tracking. We're going to move down to see what happens there. So that was one route. Uh, the other route, of course, was to move this three here, but we give up our draw pile card. Move the king there, and oh my, that's a good move too. That is really tempting, because now we can bring the two of diamonds up. We could bring the three of diamonds up. We have an ace of spades we can bring up, and oh boy, that's got a lot of moves. We can move the four of hearts here. Four of diamonds goes up top. That move may be the move we take, and we can still bring the king down and bring the ace of spades here. Again, the only issue we're going to have is that three of clubs. But if we get the ace of clubs, which I don't see here, if we were to get the ace of clubs, we could do something. We also could get this king down and the queen. We'd open up some spots. So I think we're going to go with this for now. Again, if you remember earlier, I said uh, we don't like bringing these low cards down right away because this low card right now is blocking our three of spades from going up top. So just something to keep in mind there. See, there's a three of clubs. We've lost that move for the moment. And that's not necessarily good because then we can't bring down this five. But we're going to see if we can find something else here in the back. We're going to start with this ten and we'll play this nine right here. So that's that opens up this column. So that's kind of good. Now we have to find the red queen. We're also going to get this ace of hearts down the next time. So let's see here. There's the king, and there's no red queen. Black queen. Okay, that's fine. We'll play that. So we're not going to play the... Eh, we'll play the ace this time. So the ace goes right here. We'll play this two of hearts. And we'll play the three of spades. Again, this two of clubs is holding us up, meaning we can't put this three of hearts up here. So... Unless, of course, we were to bring a three of diamonds down but for that we would need to play a bunch of cards starting with a six of hearts well, that is an option anyway let's uh, not get too far ahead of ourselves we're going to play the king there and this uh, four spades we can play we'll bring this queen over here and that will open up the final slot there and there should be another red king under one of these columns Again, we got to figure out how to open up these two columns here. Yeah, that's what we got to do. So we're going to figure out one way or another. That uh, is good that we were able to bring up that card because now we have these three clubs that we can bring down if we need to. That's going to be our insurance card again. So we're in good shape there. We're going to play this six of hearts to start because that will allow us to move this five of spades over here and open up the column. That's a beautiful card right there, the Ace of Clubs. Now we can bring this two of clubs up. And more importantly, we can open up this column here. And uh, not bad. We can, we're can. we just going to slowly work up here. We're going to move the four hearts up. And our next goal, of course, is going to be to uncover... Open up one of these columns here. We don't have a red queen, so we're not going to be able to move this jack up. We're going to have to figure out a way to get this seven up. And we'll see what we can do here. So we can bring this uh, 10 down for now. We can probably bring the 9 and 8. We'll have, to, we'll have to figure out a way to do that in just a minute here. And so this is going to be our insurance card again. Not going to play it yet. Let's see here. We're going to go for the 9. And then next we'll do the 8. Now unfortunately... If that 8 is not enough to get us to move the 7 here. So we need to obviously figure out some stuff. Uh, this 4 and 5 of clubs we're going to get up later after we get the 3 of clubs down. So basically, yeah, we got a 4, 5, 6 of clubs. We can move the 5 of spades up and the 6 of spades up, I believe. But we're going to have to figure out, I don't know if it, uh, or I think I know, there is a red card here somewhere, the red... Yeah, there's a red five. We're going to want to get that one card up too. So, all right, plan here is going to be to play the three of clubs. Next time around, this five of hearts should be the front card. We'll move the five of hearts, the six of hearts, and the seven, eight of hearts, the seven hearts over here. And then when we move the seven hearts over here, 
we're going to essentially accomplish one of our goals, and that is to move the seven of clubs and put it in the place of the seven of hearts. That will open up the column there, and that may or may not get us some more moves. We're going to find out. So in the meantime, we're going to take care of these clubs here in the back. So we're going to bring the six of clubs down, got to bring the five of clubs down, and then we'll just put them up four, five, and six of clubs up there. And now comes the fun part. Can we figure the rest of this out? And it appears, yeah, we're going to get quite a few cards here. So it's going to be a lot happening in this next go around. So five of hearts here, six of hearts, seven of hearts, eight of hearts, nine of hearts, of course. Now we're going to play the seven of spades up. And keep our fingers crossed here. Just a second here. Going to look at that one more time. We're going to keep our fingers crossed here for the seven of diamonds. And hopefully there's a good card under there. And that's a ten. Okay. That's not necessarily bad. I think there's some moves here. One of the moves I'm going to do is take this nine of hearts and put it down here. The next move we're going to do, of course, is... Oh, we need the eight of clubs out, don't we? We need the eight of clubs in a different spot. So I'm going to undo and go back here a minute. Okay. That may be a problem. We want this eight of clubs. Really want that eight of clubs. So let me see if there's a different way to do this here. The Eight of Clubs is a card we'd like to be able to bring down. We can't bring it down right now. So what we did is we played the Five of Hearts, of course. And then we played the Six, Seven, Eight. We brought that there. And then, okay, we can bring the Nine down. Okay. The idea was to play this Eight right here. Bring that down. Move the Seven over. And then put the seven and eight of spades up here. And then, of course, move the nine of spades up and the ten of spades up. And, uh, yeah, that was the plan initially. we got to figure out how to get this eight of clubs in a different spot. So what we're going to have to do is go back. Quite a few moves, maybe. I'm not sure exactly how many. And we're going to have to figure out a different way to do this. So let's go back here. Okay, three of clubs is our insurance. We're going to want to play that 9-8. But to get to that, we have to move some cards around. We have to move this three of clubs, I believe. That gives us the five. So let's try this again here. And we'll, of course, pull this eight of hearts down. So going through again. There's the five of hearts. And then maybe we can get the eight of clubs. To, but we have to get the eight of clubs down, though, don't we? Uh, four of clubs. Let's see. Five of clubs. Six of clubs. And then we have the eight of clubs there, but we have to play it under a nine, unfortunately. So let's see, five of spades, six of spades, six of hearts, seven of hearts. So the other option would be... Oh, I see the option. I totally missed this. There's a different way of doing this. I'm going to explain what I'm uh, seeing right here. I'm going to move the seven of spades here, the eight of spades here... And now we can bring this eight of clubs down underneath the nine of diamonds. What we'll do is take this seven of diamonds and move it over here. There's the move. Okay, that's not what I see a lot of, but uh, definitely worth a shot there. Now for the fun part, uh, we can actually get this ten of spades up. What we're going to do, of course, is take this eight of hearts, put it right here. Take the eight of diamonds, move it over. Let's see if it, let me show you the move here. There's nine of spades and nine of uh, clubs, so we need to have the nine of spades up. So we got two eights, okay. We take one of the eights, put it up here, take the other eight, put it over here. Now the eight, 
Knight of Spades can go up top. But more importantly, we get this Ten of Spades up top. And yes, there's a Five of Diamonds. That's good. There's a Seven of Clubs. That's good. Oh, I was going to show you a trick to do with the Jacks, but I don't have to because we can put this Jack under the Queen and there should be a King there. There is. And yeah, Six of Diamonds, Seven of Diamonds, Eight of Diamonds. So uh, yeah, we pretty much will have this uh, solved and just in here. I'm going to play these cards up. And of course, that card down. So hey, we got it done. Cool. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, I was able to teach you a trick or two. And as always, if you have not had a chance, I would uh, highly recommend checking out uh, Solitaire Complete Tip Guide uh, for more tips in addition to the tips we did on here. Uh, once again, thank you for watching and uh, good luck.